Our program definitely has grown over the last year. Our first year we started with four teams and about 17 students. And over the course of the summer, we grew to over 10 teams and over 100 students that tried out for our varsity teams. And we now have a roster of around 56. Now, in our second season, we're up to 56 varsity players and 10 titles. And there are no signs of slowing down. Student interest for new games and more teams flows in year-round. We have so many new players and it just keeps growing and growing and more people want to try out. My goal next year is to have around 70 varsity players and even more titles for our students to participate in, but then also bringing home more national championships. Varsity players follow strict requirements, including meeting academic requirements, making in-person practices, and following a strict code of conduct. There are academic requirements, just like varsity sports. We get to study in between practices all the time, which is really nice. Their education is very important. If any student feels like they're falling behind, we make sure that we get them the right resources. But what we hear most about why students want to play on the varsity team is about the community and the friendships that they gain. Getting friends, just getting really comfortable with being like on campus and with these people. It just makes me so much more motivated. It's taught me a lot of things so far, like teamwork and communication and learning how to make friends. Besides the varsity players, there are more than a dozen other important roles students contribute to to make tournaments run smoothly, such as our broadcast coordinators, shoutcasters, assistant coaches, content creators, and more. Welcome to another exciting edition of Minnesota State University Mankato Esports Virtual Summer Camp, and we are here live once again in the production room. I saw students looking at uh, uh, footage of a game that had been played and then breaking it down into each of the individual plays, how they might have done better. And as a team, they worked out a strategy that was a forward thinking strategy. That's the type of thing I would hope for any of our students. What eSports has already done to help attract first year and transfer students here is a huge bonus for the university. Both the data we see from admissions and the testimonials support that eSports is a vital community for hundreds of students each year. Gaming with my parents, it did not go over well in the beginning. They saw it more as a distraction um, from school or from actual sports. It wasn't really until this Mankato eSports um, program came up that they were like, oh wow, this is an actual official thing that schools do, they kind of decided like, okay, let's take, you know, let's take this seriously, let's support them in their endeavors. Out of high school, I didn't get any offers for regular traditional sports. And then I learned about the esports in Mankato and I said, well, that's something I'm good at as well. And I tried out and I made the team. So that's how I kind of transitioned over to esports. If this is a thing that our university offers that brings students here, and the numbers that we're already getting in suggest that it does. And we can use that tool to help them not only stay here, but to earn a degree from here in, in a field that excites them. That is wonderful. Esports has always been a passion of mine. So I, if I can turn it into a potential career, that's as far as I'd love to take it. But if not, I think the big takeaways are just like, I learned how to be a leader, a role model for people. Friendships are obviously huge. Absolutely, I'm gonna put it on a resume. I'm gonna take this esports thing with me for my whole life. We would hope every student finds something that they are passionate about that will engage them, put them in community with other students, and let them do things that, that help them create what it is they wanna have for their education.